Hi there! In this video I'm going to make the cross head out of this piece of brass. Now just before we get onto the cross head, um, I assembled the crankshaft and the conrod and um, it looks okay but I did have a problem in the fact that um, it was offset to the left quite a bit and the conrod didn't run sort of parallel with these so um, I then realised that the face where the bearing is um, it needed to be milled quite considerably by about three quarters of a millimetre now Tubal Cain as far as I can tell doesn't even mention having to do that piece of work uh, but anyway I've milled it down to the proper dimension and that looks far better so I'm happy with that so far Oh, and I also made a new crank pin, which I'm very proud of. There. So, onto the uh, cross slide. Now, um, I've marked up the centre where the 5BA thread is going to be made. And that is to connect the uh, piston rod. Now, Tubal Kane suggests making a, an alignment tool, just to double check that it's in uh, the right position. So um, this is the tool that I've made based upon Tubal Cane's suggestion. So it's just a piece of aluminium that nicely fits into the cylinder. It's uh, 5 eighths of an inch long approximately. And the actual shaft is just a mild steel bar which is 1 and 3 quarter inches long. Uh, now Tubal Cane suggests that that should be uh, silver steel but I've not got any. So the idea here is uh, just to... Um, place it into the cylinder, put the cylinder onto the bed and check the location and to me that looks spot on uh, so I'm happy with that so um, most of the uh, instructions that Tubal Cain's produced refer to hand filing and work on the lathe. Um, but I'm going to carry out all the um, cutting on the mill. So from now on, um, I'll just follow the specification on the plan and do all the cutting on the mini mill. Okay, so this is a 2.7mm drill bit prior to uh, tapping 5BA and just to keep things simple I'm just going to drill right through. Well, it took me a while to uh, work out how to uh, centre the cross head up on the rotary table. Obviously I centred up the rotary table first and then I've decided to uh, put my vice on and I, I let, let everything be loose and uh, just slightly move this 2.5mm drill bit um, into where the thread is then I've just gradually tightened everything up um, I've only got one clamp here on the vise uh, but it is pretty rock solid so I think we'll be okay to uh, carry out the uh, milling okay so um, this is to create the boss and uh, here come the maths now the boss's diameter um, is got to be around 730 seconds of an inch which uh, I work out to be point two one nine of an inch now um, this is a six millimeter uh, end mill which equates to point two three six of an inch so those two dimensions added up comes to point four five five and if you di divide that by two you get not point two two seven five of an inch now if I multiply that by twenty five point four to get millimeters I get 5.78 millimeters. Um, my dial is really set to millimeters, 
So what I need to do is to um, move the y-axis uh, towards the column 5.78 millimetres. Two, four, five, two point six, two point seven, eight, and I'll just lock it. So that will hopefully give us that uh, diameter with, that we're looking for of 7.30 seconds, which I'll double check off camera. So once I've zeroed the cutter on top of the piece, um, I'll need to cut to a depth of 3.30 seconds of an inch, which is 0 0.094 of an inch. Um, so I can use my DRO for that. Well the boss turned out ok and now I need to um, make these rubbing faces which I've already marked out and they need to be uh, 3 sixteenths of an inch wide and 1 sixteenth of an inch deep. So now I need to uh, look at cutting the slot in the crosshead and I've marked it out and you probably can't see that very well on camera. Um, but the slot is uh, 3 sixteenths of an inch wide and I'll, I'll cut that on the milling machine. I'll have a go at cutting it on the milling machine. Uh, but it has highlighted a problem in the fact that when I made the conrod I left the width of the conrod to be a quarter of an inch. So um, I'll need to do some work on that and I think also the, the radius is too far out. So what my, what my plan is, is I'll cut the slot on the cross head and I'll also drill the side holes. And once I've done that, I'll revisit the conrod uh, to actually make it fit. Um, but doing the work on the conrod I'll probably do off camera. Okay, so I've got a 3mm end mill here, and I've calculated that um, it needs to be brought from this rear face of the jaw uh, some 7.16mm. Uh, so I've done that and uh, locked the y axis. Now, on the x axis, I reckon. Uh, I need to come up to that line there, which is 7.9 millimeters. So I've zeroed the dial on the x-axis, and I'll wind that in to that dimension, 7.94, uh, and I'll cut in uh, tenth hour increments.
double check my measurements. That looks good. So I've zeroed the dial on the X axis so I know at what point to cut up to. I'll just back that off. I'll continue. Well that seems to have worked very well, um, so I've got part of the slot cut, so what I need to do now is to um, bring the cutter up to this front face of the vise and then back it off uh, 7.16 millimetres um, and make the other cut. Now uh, what I've realised is when I'm, when I'm cutting in here to a depth of 7.9 millimetres, albeit I've zeroed the uh, dial on the x-axis. It would be really really good if you could create some kind of a stop uh, on the on the table. Um, so that's something I'll have a think about because that would be really useful. Um, but anyway, let's do the other cut. I've marked the position for one of the side holes, uh, so I'm initially going to drill with a 1.5mm drill bit. Then I'll switch it round, do the other side with a 1.5, then I'll drill right through both holes with a 2.3, no, well, a 2.1mm drill bit. I still can't find the 2.3 and then I'll ream it well that was a challenging little item to make but I uh, think I got there in the end and uh, I've also uh, reshaped and uh, milled the small end of the uh, conrod um, and that per fits perfectly now and uh, works a treat.